Hey guys, what's going on? It is Tuesday, October 15th, and I am here with a jailbreak, uh, easier to use little tip, kind of, for your iPod Touch and iPhone. So, these are two different tips, and they both have to do with Spotlight, so you have to be in 3.0, but obviously pretty much everyone is by now. So the first thing is little apps up here. These are your six, six um, most recently used apps, and they just appear there as you use them. So say I go into music. I launch up music there. Wait for it to load. And it is now loaded. Um, and now, as you can see, actually music shows up as video because that's what the iPod re reads it as. But see how system settings is number two. I'll just launch that really quickly. And then it is now number one. So it is very nifty and uh, very convenient. Um, what this also does is lets you search things that are in, is in a category. So as you can see, I don't have any games on my main thing. They're all in the category over here called games. I don't know if you can see that, but it's the green icon. Nothing over here. But yet I can search, say, balloons. Great iPod game. And it'll have both balloons games that I own. So there's that. The next thing is called Universal Search. Oh, my bad. The first thing was called Spot Bright. Uh, the next thing is called Universal Search. And what this does is it actually lets you search Google, Yahoo, or movies, or weather, or anything you want from your, um, from your Spotlight. So say I wanted to search movie times. Alright, movie times. Got that done. Now, it doesn't rec since it already doesn't recognize anything on my iPod with movie times, it brings up these six icons here, which you can see are Wikipedia, Google Maps, Twitter, and more. I could select more if I wanted, or I could just go down here to search, and it has all these things that I can actually search from right down here, and I'll zoom in on those as well. So you have Google, Wikipedia, Maps, Twitter, Movies, News, and these actually pop up with different things you can search. So as you can see, that has CNN, Blogs, News, Movies, it has Listings, IMBD, and Rotten Tomato, uh, ESPN, Yahoo, Stock, Shopping, Yelp, Dictionary, Google Images, excuse me, I wasn't, didn't have the camera the right way, but... Um, you, all these different things you can search and say if I just wanted to search movies for that I could pop up to listings and it would me immediately launch Safari and oh, maybe that doesn't work out so well I'll just click movies alright so maybe there's some glitches which we've discovered but maybe if I tap Google here it should launch up Safari and search me uh, movies on Google so at least Google works and there it is and there it went movies on Google so very nifty I'm gonna show you how to get both of these things they are both apps in Cydia so let me go back to the home screen here and I will launch up Cydia alright and now that we are in Cydia sorry for uh, the delay well I just cut away for you guys, but um, you have to go to Manage and Sources, and then you want to add these sources. Um, the Sinful iPhone repo, which is right there. Link will be in the description. And that is the only source you really need for this. So you want to search for Universal Search. And you want to get the universal search from the sinful iPhone repo. If not, you can try the Be Your iPhone repo, which will also be in the description. That's the one I have it from, actually. And then you also want to search for Spot Bright. And these are both things that you just tap install and then tap install one more time, and they work perfectly.
So, I hope this video tutorial helped you uh, out with Spotlight. Uh, please make sure to rate and comment and subscribe and favorite and send me messages and do everything you could possibly do that has, is a feature on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash greaterkid95.